Cefaclor is a type of antibiotic that is used to treat many different types of bacterial infections, such as middle ear, skin, urinary tract, and respiratory tract infections. It works by stopping the growth of bacteria. It's important to note that this antibiotic only treats bacterial infections and will not work for viral infections, like the common cold or flu. It's also essential to use this medication only as prescribed, as unnecessary use or overuse can lead to decreased effectiveness. The usual dosage for adults is 250 to 500 mg every 8 hours, and it's best to take it at the same times each day. When taking Cefaclor, it's important to follow the instructions from your doctor. You can take this medication with or without food, and it's usually taken every 8 or 12 hours. If you experience stomach upset, you can take it with food. To get the best results, it's important to take this antibiotic at the same times every day. This will help you remember to take it and ensure that it's working effectively. Make sure to continue taking Cefaclor until you finish the full prescribed amount, even if your symptoms improve. Stopping the medication too early can result in the infection coming back. If your condition doesn't improve or gets worse, be sure to inform your doctor. Some common side effects of taking Cefaclor may include stomach upset, headache, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. If these side effects persist or worsen, it's important to notify your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they have determined that the benefit to you outweighs the risk of potential side effects. Many people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, if you do experience any serious side effects, such as persistent nausea or vomiting, stomach-slash-abdominal pain, yellowing of the eyes or skin, dark urine, unusual joint pain, signs of infection, easy bruising or bleeding, signs of kidney problems, or mental-slash-mood changes, it's important to inform your doctor right away. In rare cases, this medication may cause a severe intestinal condition due to a bacteria called C. difficile. If you develop symptoms such as persistent diarrhea, abdominal or stomach pain, or blood-slash-mucus in your stool, you should contact your doctor immediately. It's also important to note that using anti-diarrhea or opioid products may worsen these symptoms. Prolonged or repeated use of this medication may result in oral thrush or a new vaginal yeast infection. If you notice white patches in your mouth, a change in vaginal discharge, or other new symptoms, it's important to contact your doctor. While a serious allergic reaction to cefaclor is rare, it's essential to seek medical help immediately if you experience symptoms such as rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects not listed above. Always consult with a medical professional before making any changes to your medication. Before taking Cefaclor, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to penicillins, cephalosporins, or any other substances. It's important to discuss any inactive ingredients in the product that may cause allergic reactions or other issues. Before using this medication, let your doctor or pharmacist know about your medical history, especially if you have kidney disease or intestinal disease, colitis. Cefaclor may affect the effectiveness of live bacterial vaccines, such as the typhoid vaccine. If you are using Cefaclor, be sure to inform your healthcare professional before getting any immunizations or vaccinations. Before undergoing surgery, it's important to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, use this medication only if clearly needed and discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. This medication passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. As for the daily dosage and optimal timing, it's best to follow your doctor's instructions and take the medication at the same time each day. When taking Cefaclor, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how this medication works or increase your risk of serious side effects. Be sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products, and share this information with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medications without consulting your doctor. Additionally, cefaclor may interfere with certain lab tests, such as certain diabetic urine tests, which could lead to false test results.
It's important to inform lab personnel and all your doctors that you are taking this medication. Make sure to follow your doctor's recommendations for the best time to take this medication and the appropriate daily dosage. If someone has taken too much cefaclor and is experiencing serious symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical help by calling 911 or contacting a poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include severe vomiting and seizures. It's important not to share your medication with others, as it has been prescribed specifically for your current condition. Do not save it for later use in case of another infection unless your doctor advises you to do so. If you forget to take a dose of cefaclor, take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take the next one at your regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Make sure to store cefaclor at room temperature, away from light and moisture. It's important to keep it out of the bathroom and away from children and pets. If you no longer need it or it's expired, be sure to dispose of it properly. You can consult with your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do so. Remember not to flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the U.S., you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.